what is home economics? I think that it's about basically just all the things that you would do around the home. I thought that it was a lot of like cooking, cleaning, but then at the same time, it like has a stereotype of being made for women. And then I kind of had this vision in my head of like sewing and knitting and crocheting and stuff like that. How to sew and how to make dinner. How to manage your finances at home. Uh, it's a field that teaches you how to maintain the household. A euphemism for housewifery. So what exactly is home economics then? And how did it begin? Home economics began with applying scientific knowledge to daily activities. From milk pasteurization in the late 1800s to wartime rationing to canning in the 1930s and 40s to TV dinners, fad diets, and convenience foods, home economics has been revolutionized into a lost skill. So why do we need to bring back the basic concepts of home economics today? The obesity epidemic and increase of convenient foods has deteriorated the health of our communities. By refocusing on the importance of family, we can introduce healthy food choices, basic food skills, and home management skills to children at young ages for a healthy, sustainable future. Why are basic food skills important? Our approach to cooking affects how we eat. In a study conducted by Engler Stringer, it was reported that 18.3% of women and 23.2% of men in the 18 to 24 year old age group reported having inadequate cooking skills. Home economics teaches basic life skills such as cooking, but also teaches critical thinking. Critical thinking teaches reasoning, analyzing, evaluating, decision making, and problem solving skills that can be applied to a broader sense. Getting back to basics involves recognizing the importance of family. The family teaches communication skills, socialization, establishes family morals, beliefs, and attitudes. It encourages healthy eating patterns, improves school performance, and reduces risky behaviors. We need professional home economists today to teach critical thinking, basic life skills, and a holistic systems thinking approach to solve everyday problems. Some career examples include a policy analyst, research and development project manager, product development specialist, a dietitian, a university professor, or even the director general of the World Health Organization. To become a professional home economist, you acquire a degree in home economics or in a related field, proof of a course about the philosophy and practice of the home economics, and you must be a member of your regional home economic association. Professional home economists have their own code of ethics, beliefs, and moral standards of behavior. The International Federation of Home Economists believe promoting awareness of families' well-being is the basic infrastructure and needed for development. It is a home economist's duty to be a role model and raise awareness of everyday problems and how to solve it in a sustainable way by using a systems approach. By focusing on the family, this can increase the well-being and quality of life of individuals, society, and global health. We agree with Miller and others that home economics is a holistic, multidisciplinary, systems approach to address complex practical problems facing individuals, families, and the environment.